Alright guys, Road Warrior back here. This here is one confusing comp. I've yet to play in this one, but I've kind of figured out how to go through it. I was going to practice it with my buddy. Unfortunately, I joined this too early, So, but I do understand kind of how it's going to work. You have to use PVA bags in this one. You're going after a big and small grass carp. Hold on, let me double check. The goal is the maximum weight difference, so it's a gap tournament again. The biggest and smallest grass carp. you got 45 minutes to do so. No rod stands. You can use one carp rod, but it has to, you have to use PVA, PVA bags, mesh, and pellets as ground bait and pellets as hook bait. So in other words, to try to dumb that down for myself and for any of you guys that are trying to enter this thing, uh, basically what you want to do is on your carp rod you have to have a method mix and to do that you come into here and it's different from the other so basically what you want to do is come in here and mix this stuff up like you've seen that i've did here this is just a mix that i'm going to test uh i haven't actually did this one before but i kind of understand how the pva bags work i'm still learning my way around them with that being said i'm mixing in 15 ounces of garlic 10 ounces of or two i did two garlics uh actually i'm not going to do that one so I'll simply take that over to zero, and I'm actually going to add in a little bit of halibut, not much. And since I decrease that, I'm going to increase the garlic. I'm trying to, I can't go higher than that. I'll go a little bit higher on the shrimp. Oh, that is, that's as much as I can do. Okay, that's the most I can add, and I did put, and go ahead. You can't put hemp corn on this, so if you're following along, it's not like your big riverine and stuff. You can still spod, so I'll have to mix up a whole nother mix just for the spod mix. And I know this is going to be confusing, uh, but again, I wanted to put all these up on the channel, and you can see how difficult this thing really is. So, um, But you can put your aromas with your method mix. So the difference is these are just your regular ground bases. And then these are your method mixes. And it'll show you because it, it's grayed out. Now to even get in this comp, to equip this to your thing, you kind of have to have this pre-mix before you can even get in here. But I'm going to go ahead and try to mix up. I'm going to go ahead and mix this up now. So I got this mix so you guys can follow along. So just mix this up. Whatever recipe you want to put together. Once you've done that, then all you want to do is go over, come back. If it glitches out on you, go down to the mix that you just did. This is the empty recipe, so I'm going to put that on there. And it is a little heavy for the, the wear, but you can put that on there. And you have to have these mesh bags as well, guys, the large ones. So you, I think you get 25 or 30 of those to start. Um, you'll find those in the shop, but you have to have all this stuff before you even go into here. And I know this one's really confusing, but you have to get all that stuff ready first. And then you also have to use these. You can't, you can't, you have to attach and use these. It has to be the pellets. It can't be the boilies. So it's pellets only. And you're also, you're targeting just the grass carp. This one is really confusing. I don't even know what to expect myself. I did bring an extra setup just in case something crazy happens and I break my rod or something stupid. So, and I'm also going to go ahead and mix up a, uh, a mix as well to spod. So I'm going to spod on top of that. So keeping that separate, I'm just going to do, I'm actually going to just try, what, hold on, what is the uh, weather for this? This is night with that. I'm actually just going to try my night mix and see uh, see what happens there. So, wish me luck. I've got cross, cross carp in the night off of this, so this should help me. But again, I think it's just going to be kind of a lottery, a lottery pool, so to speak. Uh, now again, since it's at night, I do not use the grand fish feeder, so I'm going to max this out. Uh, oh, it's already maxed out. Oh, it wouldn't let me... Hold on. What is going on? Oh, that's my team brain. No wonder. Alright, my apologies, guys. This one's really annoying. 
Okay, so I'm going to max this out, 52. 32 ounces of this. And this is a night mix that's on my channel that usually does well, so I don't know. Again, I don't know how you differentiate to just catch just the grass carp, but we'll see kind of how these scores end up here. And again, I'm keeping the, uh, the fruity flavors out because it's at night. Do what, Josh? No, you can, you can still, everybody still spots for them. That, that part I do now. Do six of this, two of this. Eight, six, and two. Bigger of rain on the eight. So here's what I'm going to try. But to make it less confusing, you have to have a mix attached to your, or it'll say your equipment does not conform. If that happens to you, what you want to do is be at the lake, put a small mix in so that you have something in this position. That's a keynote. Otherwise, this is, this is all going to be red right here, and it will not let you enter. So until you've got something to go in this PVS mesh bag that'd be the best thing I can help you if you guys are ever trying to enter this so basically what I'm going to do now is I can still spot my spot but I have to use the those certain uh, pellets as bait in other words you have to use the um, you have to use these so here we go I'm actually going to try I want to try that close spot but I'm actually going to come over here and try a new spot that I found the other day since it's a really short cast and then see if I have any luck So again, you still want to spot for it because they're they're going to go to try to get an oversized carp, and then you got to try to get a small one afterwards. And I know this is confusing, but I just want to put up on my channel if it can help you guys out in some way, at least get in here. And uh, you know, I said feel like you at least got some shoes on. As you can see, my uh, strings. How is my string always broke? So not only do you have to wade through doing all of that, is you gotta hope that uh, you can get a big, a big grass carp and a small one. And I'm really curious to see how many of these people have actually got this figured out. Unlike the uh, lucky ghost thing, there's Josh and I. We were supposed to practice on that, but that didn't happen. Are you kidding me right now? Okay, going back over here where we were. I'm sorry, guys. This thing is so confusing. I've never played in this one, but I just wanted to put this up and try to help you guys out the best I can. But I know this night mix works well, so I'm going to cast the majority of this out. And then you have to fish with one rod. You have to use the ground pellets, not the boilies. 
And the, the goal is to get the biggest grass carp and the smallest grass carp you can in 45 minutes. And you're fishing at night when it's cloudy. But I assure you, these guys are going to be spotting for these to try to get an oversized one. And I wanted to do this one personally just to get my own experience out of it. So again, me posting these up on my channels, feel free. You can be, uh, I can be the one that gets embarrassed if I do bad and you don't have to be the one. So if anything, you can appreciate that. And I am pretty good at figuring stuff out on this game, so I'm going to go go in like this and just do what I do and see what see what happens and I'll know for the next time I venture into this one now the rewards on this there's an actually a, uh, a deep runner that I would like that's an X series and a, another haunch runner and I think there's several other little things just depending on the, what you like in the game but again I'm going to cast the majority of this out and then it's just playing the waiting game So this mix here is what I'm putting out should draw fish in and then I just kind of play in the lottery from there whether I catch a mirror, a leather, um, a ghost and preferably a grass. But I found this spot the other day on live stream. So I'm going to give it a try. I'm going to try to get this down to about 40 ounces. As you can see, this could be a really long wait. And some guy, you know, like I said, these guys are all spotting out. If you can see by the scoreboard, there's already five minutes in and there's only one fish up on the board. So a lot of these guys are spotting. Doing the very thing that I'm doing. So this is going to be a big hit or a big miss. So you put all this time in. If you guys ever come into this, you got to put all this time and effort in. Cast all this out and then just hope that uh, you get a grass carp, I'm assuming. Now there's probably some guy, some guy that's really good at carp fishing that kind of understands how to, you know, whether he's supposed to be using shrimp pellets or hemp pellets or whatnot. That could have an advantage on you. But I'm just going to, again, try to just give you a base idea of what you do, uh, at least how to set up your gear and stuff and we'll, We'll just kind of learn together, I guess. So I got a lot of that out. I'm going to go ahead and put my uh, deep horizon on and see if... Uh... Now again, the key on this is if you know, you see the circle up there, that's the pellets, but I got a method mix where the yellow that you see there. So there's a method mix with this, and this PBS bag is supposed to draw in the fish as well. And I could probably put on a bigger hook. So I'm going for an oversized. I'm actually going to put on an extremely big hook. And no guarantee. And I'm actually thinking about, eh, let's just go ahead and see what happens. I thought about throwing all my spot out just to see. And then from here, it could be uh, just, just a waiting game. As you can see, seven minutes in and there's one fish on the board. Okay, Jer's already got a 73-pound ghost. But see, that's what's going to happen as everybody's going. But I assure you, they're all spotting.
if you guys notice, I'm using hemp sinking pellets because I'm just thinking grass, hemp. You would think that's what they would eat, but I, I don't know on that part. That's something you guys probably have to figure out, but we're just going to hope it cycles through. So, And it's also possible you could use a smaller hook, but since we're doing the oversize, I'm going to assume everybody's using a pretty big hook. And then obviously if you catch a really big grass carp, then change hooks, keep it on the, you know, the method mix, but keep the, uh, put a smaller hook on. And try and kind of just like this, basically just like the big head carp thing that I posted up the other day. You could come in here and do this, and then you know you could just catch a bunch of ghost carp or something crazy too. So that happened to me in the in the uh, played in the big head carp the other day. Caught some really nice silver carp, but the goal was to catch the the big head carp, and that's where these things get really technical. And uh, again, RNG is involved. So I did just get a nibble, so that's a positive sign. That's a big hook, so hopefully it'll. Got one nibbling at it, but don't mean he's gonna take it. So just with your time constraints, by the time you do all this, you're gonna be lucky probably to hit two spots. And I also brought uh, a pop-up pop-up pellet too, just in case. But you would think I would think the sinking should be all right. But again, over 11 minutes in and there's one fish on the board. So if you just had that lucky lucky streak, it's one that... Uh, this is one of a really, really complex comp, so... But it's one I, I think that... Uh, if you're the type of person that likes uh, likes a challenge, I think this would be fun. one that uh, you might want to try. So I know I do. As you can see, their mix is cycling through. They're just hoping to get the, uh, they're basically just playing lotto fishing, guys. They're putting mix out, and they're just hoping that a grass carp hit, so, which is the same thing I'm doing. <laughs> Since I didn't get a bite as quick as I wanted to. Hold on here. Yeah, this is the spot I just found the other day. Yeah, I caught a 92 pounder the other day, but I know there was grass and ghosts right here as well. I'm going to go ahead and throw the rest of this out.
again, any of these I put up on my channel, guys, if you find where it's really boring, uh, you can come in and check on a live stream. I appreciate it. But you can also, I put those up there too that you can just kind of use as a reference point. You can fast forward uh, whether I've caught a fish or not. And I usually put a little keynotes at, at some point. But once all that's out, I'm going to go ahead and try the hemp one more time. If I don't get a bite in a couple minutes, then I'm going to switch, obviously, to a different uh, pellet. But again, I've never played in this. So I just got the basic idea of what to do, and I'm kind of passing that along. And it does, you can keep your rod, you know, your line tight, or you can keep it slack. If you guys are wondering, I've never had trouble keeping the line tight in the Jolly Carp or any of the other things. So, again, it's just a waiting game. Again, because they're oversized, if I show you that, I showed you that mark. There's a 92-pound mirror mark in front of me I just found the other day, so I figured I'm going to try this spot out, spot it, and see if I can. My night mix is usually pretty solid, so we'll just see what it draws in. But again, you're kind of playing this lotto. There's five different carps, so it's just going to matter what hits it and the waiting game. But what I was unfamiliar with is the, uh, I usually don't use this the uh, sinking pellets. I'm usually, uh, if I do a carp rod, most of the time I'm doing boily, so it's all a learning experience for me as well. Again, as you can see by looking at the board, there's not much scoring going on. And I assume there's probably three or four guys that got this down. And yes, this will be a lot more fun with a rod stand. Since the hemp didn't work, I'm going to go ahead and try to put in the uh, garlic. I do believe I brought garlic with me, so I'm going to try that. And I also brought garlic pop-ups in the event that the pop-ups work better. Again, as you can see in the lobby, as these guys are catching fish, they're all just cycling through, hoping they can get a... Uh, Hoping they hit a grass carp.
And if anything, you can click on this, fast forward through it, and say, hell no, Road. I am never playing in this thing. And you can just say thank you later. Saving you the pain and the agony of it. not liking the sinking so I'm going to try a pop up And the spot mix you throw out can actually last up to 35, 40 minutes. So again, you're kind of you're committed for sure one to two spots. Now you notice the guy that's in the lead there. He's got a 63 pounder, and he must have a 20 pounder for a small. 0.3 pounder for a small. So that's his gap. But the 63 pounder, you see, that's an oversized grass. So he did spot for it. No luck on the garlic, so I'm going to try. I think I brought... Let me see what I did bring. Let's try shrimp. I brought a little bit of everything. Again, something like this is going to take a lot of, lot of patience. As you can see, any guys followed along on the channel on these comps, how difficult some of these things can actually be. And yes, a lot of us have talked and kind of just wish they had an X-Series lure store, so you could just, even if it was bait coins or something, can't we just go buy some X-Series gear?
Again, looking at the board, there's been 24 minutes this thing's passed, and if you count up there, there's basically four fish caught. Two of the guy at the top, and the other three, two guys have only caught one. So there's basically been four fish caught that count, and 24 minutes passed. That's how difficult this one will be. Okay, we'll try sunflower oil. Well, this one I'm going to leave out three or four minutes again. Cycling through. The spot mix should have brought something in. It's just going to be a matter of what they're going to hit. It's also possible you need a really lucky golden horseshoe for this thing. Approaching 27 minutes in and there's been four grass carp caught. That's it. And we got something, but I don't know what it is. As you can see, I did have the line tight. Now, again, if this isn't a grass carp, then keep casting. Obviously, I don't have dope, but it's a mirror, I think. A mirror or leather. It might even just be a trophy. Trophy mirror. Okay, since I did get a bite on this, I'm going to obviously stick with it. But again, you can see how painstaking some of this stuff is to figure it out. But again, if it's something you're into and you enjoy a challenge and you're a really slow, patient fisherman, then this is definitely a comp for you. I do enjoy carp fishing, so I do enjoy the challenge. This is something I'll, I'll slowly mess with here and there. But there's so many comps that I want to target to try to get a few lures. But the... Uh, this one piques my interest because it's got the other uh, deep runner and I love the minnows on here. And also if you guys recognize those Durr's a really good fisherman. Beaver's is decent too. Uh, not one of us has got the grass carp yet, but I do wish him luck. Hope that they can get one. He got a common. He's cycling through. Get him, Beave. And since, you know, I've already spotted this one spot, there's no way timing-wise that you could respot a spot, so... 
you're almost pretty much once you spot out and you know you're pretty much probably almost just limited to one spot I think now at this point even Rafa King Rafa is a really really good fisherman and he's only got he's just got one small right now so now he could have went for a small first and the Alcus also could be uh, just spotted and went for his big one next so that could be a strategy as well And, you know, your first thought would be, well, Captain Hook, 14-0 would be too big, but not when you're spotting. As you can see, a trophy, trophy mare even hit it. But to me, I think just thinking about it, I think hemp would probably be a better bait for the grass. It would make more sense. All carp like eating on vegetation, but grass carp in general you would think would like the hemp. I'll give it another minute or so and then I'm going to switch to hemp. And out of the carp tournaments I've played in so far, I think the uh, the Jolly Carp's a great one to play in once you learn how to spot. And then the Ghost, the Lucky Ghost Carp's okay. But I think the out of the carp tournaments I've played in, I think the Jolly Carp's the most fun. So again, if you're looking for a fun factor, this is more of a patient patience thing than it will be a fun where you're just ripping fish in after fish. Again, a fun factor on this one, as you guys can see how this thing plays out. Again, a lot of you guys that might look at this later, you can, again, a good thing about having me putting these up here is you can definitely fast forward and see, see which ones you want to play and see which ones you don't. And if you didn't want to play in this, I totally understand. The exciting news is they are releasing at some point the, uh, there's going to be a new update. They didn't release the date yet, but ocean fishing is coming to uh, fishing planet so that's exciting news and with ocean fishing comes should be a whole new new uh, set of comps that nobody's uh, got down that's been playing them for five six years so that's awesome
And if you're thinking it's more exciting watching paint dry, I kind of had the same thought at the same time. And the cool part, anybody that might watch through this, you can actually fast forward and you're not the guy stuck here doing this. <laughs> oh, that guy. Fitzy Fitzy said, okay, I've had enough. I don't blame you, bro. Not very exciting. Keep hoping for that last minute bite here. But as you can see, let's say you got lucky and caught a 50-pounder right here and nobody got a small, you have second place, if that makes any sense. That's one good thing. Just had the speed one glitch. I'm not sure what that is, Jer. Has anybody heard of the speed one glitch? Oh, yeah, I don't know, dude. That stinks that your phone froze. Yeah, I've never heard of the speed one glitch either. It might be something that your fish gets off on you. I don't know. I had something weird happen the other day. I was playing in a comp at the Ghent. And I was reeling a fish in. And it was on there, but it didn't give me the fish. Like I reeled it in and it was just gone. Like it didn't even raise it up or anything. Not sure, Jer, bro. Never had it happen using bait. I don't know, but this comp here. Whew. But yeah, if you were lucky and got one big one and nobody got a small one, you could see where there's room to, uh, to get in that top three on this one. Man, this is hideous. I mean, hideous. I'm going to try something really silly, guys. I'm going to downgrade hooks and see if I can just get lucky and pick up a. Uh... Do I got a small? Don't have a small cap in that. I'm actually going to do that and see if somehow I can just get an oversized trophy grass carp, which would knock me up in a second. Because obviously, if I just got a 25 pound grass carp and nobody else gets any, as you can see, people are leaving. The uh, this is not easy. I was playing COD with my friend, and I was about to go out, and the game froze. That's crazy. As you can see, Beaver struck out. It looks like Jer's gonna strike out. A lot of decent players are striking out on this, so. Again, if you guys come in here and try this, don't feel bad if you don't get a fish in 45 minutes. Again, I'm putting these up on the channel uh, so you guys kind of know what you got to expect or what to do in this. So, Yeah, I definitely wouldn't put the fun factor up there. And Josh is probably glad he didn't register for this, I'm sure. But I do think I could come in here and get some grass carp on this if I had a little more time to practice for it. So...
<laughs> yeah, about your disappointment yourself for this. <laughs> oh, your phone unfroze. Okay, good. Good to hear, Mariska. Yeah, you're missing a doozy here, man. I am going to, uh, after this live stream, I'm going to stop this stream so it's saved on the channel. I'm going to restart a different stream for the, uh, the Naharan Minimal. So after this, I'm going to get set up for that and post that up on the channel. I do believe that's the next one up. So, But I think it comes on at 7, so i got a little time to get set up. So around a little over an hour from now, I'll be posting up the, uh, the Naharan Minimal. And there's a lot more action in that. And again, Jer's a great tournament player, and he, he even got skunked on this, so. But again, just kind of in closing, as we close this thing out, uh, just the general rule of thumb, you have to have the PVA mesh bag. You have to have method mix attached to it before you even come to the comp with... The sinking pellets you cannot use boilies i repeat you cannot use boilies. so if you happen to register for this thing and it's saying that you can't join or your equipment doesn't conform it's because you have to put a little bit of method mix into your pva bag before you can even get in here so just put a, just a tiny bit in there attach it then come in and then put whatever mix that you want together and then spot your spot and then you have to use these pellets but again, if you're spotting for an oversize, you're going to want a bigger hook for that. And then simply, if you were able to be lucky enough to get that grass carp instead of a mirror or something else, then from there you would want to put on a, be a grass carp. No. A ghost carp. And that's kind of how it'll go. But if you were lucky enough, going back to what I was saying, then obviously downsize your hook and uh, see what you can get from there. But I... I wouldn't doubt at times, uh, just kind of, if you see the score, it's really wanky. Everybody else has got a zero, but the guy that's in second, it's because he got the biggest grass carp. Even though he doesn't have a gap fish, you could still place in this thing just by getting one big grass carp. And if you don't want to go through all the headaches, I went through it for you and say, Road, I will never play in that. Thank you for doing it for me. You are most certainly welcome. But the Naharan minimal one, it's at uh, Naharan, obviously, and you're basically fishing for crappie and uh, the smallest fish you can catch and as many as you can catch. It's a lot. It's almost like the one by one, but it's with a lure. So I'll be I'll be fishing for a bunch of small fish as many as you can catch. Uh, are you using a spinner bait, like a bass spinner, or are you using a bullet spinner? Because you'll need a bullet spinner for the, the trout. The, the, the uh, pike should, Mariska, should hit the, uh, the spinner like a bass spinner. If you're talking like the 2, 3, 0, 4, 0 bass spinners. They should hit that for you. But the, 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 the trout and the splake and stuff in there, you're going to want to try... You know, try your shads or uh, the bullet spinners work really well, as well as like medium spoons, if you got any of those. I appreciate it, Josh. Like I said, and you also look at your guys' rewards. If you guys don't like the, the deep runners and stuff, I love the deep runners, so, so the shad's too heavy. Okay. Can you give me a grass carp at the end for my time? No. They can't. Man. If that would have been a 10-pound grass carp, I could have potentially took third. But yeah, Josh, you're welcome, buddy. But I do like the deep runners, and they got the Eric Series deep runner in here, so that's another lure that I'd really like to have. Especially the 6-0.
No worries, my man. I appreciate it. Like I said, this is something I'll come in. I definitely won't post this up unless it would be like a quick 35-second clip if I actually placed in this thing. But, yeah, I'm not going to bore the bore you guys with this one. This Again, this is just some of those you'll fast-forward through, even like the uh, the eyed tournaments and some of those other ones that are definitely sleepers. Any of you guys tuning in, this is one that you can fast forward through on my channel. I just basically put this up so uh, somebody would have a basic idea what to do. It's a total luck tournament, but as you can see by the scoreboard, there's only one person that caught two, two grass carp, and you could actually just... It would have been great to pull out a nice 25-pounder right there. Okay. Yeah, this will conclude this one. I'll take a look real quick and uh but I wanna say the Naharan Minimals next. And I haven't posted that one up on the channel. And that the Naharan Minimal is kind of a difficult one too. You have to use a light light casting reel. Or yeah, excuse me, spinning reel, but that I'm going to take a break and then I'll come up and, uh, yeah, here, here in about an hour, I'll post this up. Uh, I'll go live here in about an hour on this one. If anybody wants to tune in and kind of see how this one works out, if not, it'll be up on the channel for you whenever you want to go and check it out. Uh, so I appreciate you guys supporting the channel again. That, that concludes the uh, grass cutter here on fishing planet. Definitely not one that that'll be for everybody, but, uh, this one here is actually pretty fun. If you, if you enjoy fishing for the small fish. Uh, and the rewards as well. Not overwhelming, but uh, something to shoot for anyway. Again, if you've lost any of that stuff, it's good to come back on it. So, again, this is, concludes the uh, this one here. I don't recommend this for anybody. Rating? I'll give this one a one, bro. I'll give this one a one. I don't think very many people are going to have fun doing this one. Uh, like I said, only, only other thing... The only reason I really want to do it is for the challenge. The second reason is I would love to have that X-Series deep, uh, deep runner right there. But uh, other than that, no, not much there. Maybe the bullet sinker. I doubt it gets you better fish, but who knows. But I would like to have that X-Series haunch runner as well. So either one of those lures I'd love to have. But other than that, fun factor, I would definitely put it a one out of a five if that. Maybe, maybe even a half. So that concludes the grass cutter here on my channel. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you again for supporting the channel, and I'll be back here in about an hour.